It has been almost um, a week since last I videoed on this project and in that time I've spent a few evenings uh, threading the heddles and a few evenings relaxing watching television. But you can see that from the back everything is through the leaf sticks and through the heddles. Let's walk around to the front. They're all through there. All, let's see, 400 and 20, I guess, is my count. Through, but loose on the front. So the next step is going to be to put the uh, beater bar and the reed back onto the loom and then thread all of those again, two at a time, through the reed. And uh, I'll show you that step in just a second here. The light in here is atrocious. I don't know why, but it is. Anyways, I'll start to put the um, beater bar back onto the loom and show you how that works. Let's aim this down just a little bit. Here we are. Turn this that way. Then, well, that was more work than it should have been. There we are. It's, it's on. You can see we've got full range of motion. What I'm going to do is clamp it on the side with a couple of C-clamps. And um, that'll hold it from moving too far. During this next process, while I'm threading that reed, I don't want uh, quite that much travel. Right now what I'm doing is selecting two threads at a time. I don't know if you can see them, but there's two there. And I'm pulling them through the reed. Then moving those heddles over to remind myself that they're done. And I grab the next two. And I don't know if you can see my little hook coming through the reed, but I think you can. And I pull them through. There's my little hook for slaying the reed. We'll do one or two more whilst you guys are watching. But I know this is kind of a tedious process and I can't put up a whole video of just slaying the reed. Well here I am laying on the floor almost underneath the loom because I'm going to show you what to me is the hardest part of weaving and that is tying up the um, treadles to the shafts that lift the various uh, threads up and down. Um, this is going to be hard to see because again I'm laying on the floor ready to reach under the loom and um, put the bits of cord onto the um, I can't explain them. Here, I'll just turn the camera and show you. So what I've got here for each of these shafts is this is shaft one, two, three. I don't think you can see my fingers going behind each of them, but let's move. Shaft one, 
two, three, etc. Okay, so what we've got there, and on each of these, there's a piece of Texalv cord that goes over. And you can see I've numbered the positions. The numbers here represent the treadles. Treadles down here on the floor. See, there's the treadles. Okay, so normally I tie treadle number 11. That's this one in this position here. So I've got this cord here that I will hook on for treadle number 11. And in this case I need shaft number 1 to be tied on at the lower side. I need shaft number 2 to be tied on on the upper side. And you can see that there. Okay, so I've got to loop a cord over each one of these wooden bars and then tie it on down here. And it's kind of a nuisance or a pain to reach in there and do that. And because this is a countermarch loom, I I can't I have to tie every shaft on say a jack style loom loom, I would only have to tie the shafts that I want to lift up. So only half of them. But on this one I have to tie all because it pulls both the top and the bottom apart. So that's a bit of work. So I've got to go one, two, now I've got number three. I've got to add a Texolve cord to that. So I've got a little bag with my Texolve cords. There's a cord. This is the short cord for the bottom. And I'm going to reach in here and put it in. Then I've got to just make a little loop. I'm sure you can't really see it real well, but we kind of poke this through. And pull that up tight and now I've added another cord and I have to do that for each of well in this case I'm using 10 shafts so 10 shafts times 10 treadles is a hundred times and that's the next step in our process and to my mind that is the hardest part of weaving because laying on the floor and doing this kind of semi above your head, semi off to the side of the loom is difficult. But this is where we're at. So you can see I'm down here and I've got more work to do. Well here's the next step and it's going to be very hard to see because the lighting underneath the loom is um, less than optimal. But what I'm going to do is I take a couple of little boards, just scrap pieces of lumber, and I stick them underneath the treadle just to hold it up off the floor. So you can see I've got that one up. Now let's just move these out the way. Hopefully you can see right there that there are little screws. So What I'm going to do is take each of these Texolve strings and because they've got little loops on them I can put a loop over the first screw and that ties the shaft up above to this treadle and I'll do again the next one. You can't see my thumbs in the way when I do it, but you can see now that... So, when I push on this treadle, it's going to pull down on these threads, and that's going to open the shed for weaving. We'll do one more of these, just to show you, one or two more, just to show you how. 
and then I'm going to turn the camera off and keep working. But there you can see I've got four shafts now tied to this treadle. And there is the end result of tying all the ten of them, or looping all the ten of them onto those screws. I do have a pattern to follow, although I don't know that you can see it real well. But basically that's my pattern. Wherever there's numbers where I'm tying the bottom piece of wood right there, and whenever there's a, a blank in my numbers, then I tie the top, which is not that one, but that one, that layer. So you can see there's a terrible amount of setup, and it's not in a particularly easy place. I love weaving on this Lue loom. But I absolutely hate this part of the setup. Um, it's enough to make you wish that there was like a hydraulic jack in the floor that would lift the entire thing up so I could do it at a sitting level. But there isn't. And it's the um, price that I pay for being able to weave on this loom, which is just beautiful to weave on. It's the setup that's the problem. Okay, here I am sitting at the loom, ready to um, warp or tie the warp on to <coughs> the, the wind up shaft at the uh, front of the loom. So I'm going to aim the camera down and show you that basically all I do is comb out the sets of threads and tie a knot into them, and then I can loop them on. Here we go down. And I'm going to move my light over so you can get a little bit better view, I hope. So I just take my comb, comb out a set of threads. Now each set represents one inch of width in the warp. And it represents 20 threads. So next set as you can see, you've probably noticed this before, I'm alternating dark brown and natural linen color. So I'll get it up to about here, tie a quick knot. I'm bringing it back so the knot is sitting right above the breast beam. Okay, that's all there is to that little part of it. Got a few more inches to go, and then we'll tie each of these on to this uh, tie-up shaft. <coughs> Here's the uh, here is the next major step, or minor step, whatever you want to call it. One, two, three, four. I'm I take a a separate piece of cord, a bit heavier than the warp, and I use it to tie around. I just I've got these knots tied in here, and I just loop through each of these sets or bundles of threads, and I pull this, I've got a lot of this because I'm going to, sometimes I need all of it. Anyways, I pull it through, go around here again, grab my next batch of threads, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to loop through this one. And I keep doing this until all of them are tied on, or looped, looped on, whatever you want to call it. And what this gives me is an adjustable, I don't know if you can see this, the angle's wrong for you, but so now each of my bundles is, is looped on with itself. And I'll show you again in a little bit later, later for me it'll be about five seconds for you, how I take advantage of this tie up here.
paying attention here now? So, we've got everything tied and you can see, I hope you can see, that I've used this separate string to tie these on. Each of them are there, so now I can pull and get a little tension. And my goal here is to adjust these until I can feel the tension to be equal. So I'm going to go back on this a little bit and feel. And it feels a little bit loose on the end and a little bit tight in the middle. So I'm going to pull on this thread and move a little slack to the middle. And I feel it again. It feels about even. I'll know more after I get it a little bit tighter, so we'll tighten it up a little bit more. Feel it again. This end piece feels a little bit loose, so we'll tighten it just a hair. Of course, that means loosening each of these by just a little bit, but again, we feel pretty even. Right here is a little bit loose. I'm going to just do this. You get the idea, I think, of what I'm doing. Now the next part is to just, I'm going to, once I'm satisfied with this, I will roll it back this way with tension until these threads are just about touching the breast beam. Once that's done, I can begin to actually weave. So, we have completed the setup, the tying on, the organization, whatever you want to call it, the dressing of the loom. The next step will be weaving, and that I'll put into a totally separate video, I think. This one's probably gotten almost too long already. I may even have to break it into multiple sections. But I wanted to show you that there's a lot involved in setting up and weaving the loom, <coughs> any piece of loom. In fact, in my opinion, I'm probably a little bit over half done with this entire project. And I haven't started to weave a single thread yet. But with all the setup work, with the measuring of each of these threads, with the wrapping them onto the back beam, pulling them through the heddles up here, that, yeah, you can't see them from the angle I've got the camera right now. But all of that leaves us basically um, half done. Come up here and visit with me. Okay, so that's where we're at. We're about half done with the project, even though we haven't started to weave because of all of the prep work. And that's going to be the end of this video. I'll, like I said, I'll do another video of uh, the actual weaving process itself. In fact, I've done that before. You've probably seen a couple other videos where I've done that. So. That ends the setup or dressing of the loom video.